think I ever really wanted to have an office job or or something like that. I always, you know, want to just have fun, you know, in life. And I don't really remember doing a whole lot of risky stuff growing up. I was a pretty, you know, mellow kid, you know. I don't think I ever, you know, tried any crazy stuff or, or anything like that. My freshman, sophomore year, the, actually the principal and even the vice principal, they didn't even know I went to that school. I'd go to school and then I would do football, wrestling, track. I had my dance and gymnastics outside of there. I really wasn't sure what I was going to do when I was in high school. I just knew I, you know, when I started playing football, that's what I wanted to do. I was like, oh, I'm going to go to college, I'll play football. I had no idea what I was going to do in college or what, you know, classes I was going to take. I just wanted to go play, you know, go play sports. And then uh, as soon as I did the, st or started the Indiana Jones stunt show, then I knew that was what I was going to do for the rest of my life. When I first auditioned for it and I got the show, I figured, all right, I'll, I'll do this for a couple years, save up money, and then go to college. And uh, I'd say after my first year, there was a guy named Norb Phillips that he, uh, he was like, hey, he goes, do you want to learn the business? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And he's like, all right. He, he took me aside and he taught me how to do all the, the fights, the fire burns, the car hits, the drive. And we'd go rent cars and take them out to a parking lot and, and learn how to do some of the stunt driving. Um, on the weekends or on our days off, I'd go to his house and we'd prep up a fire burn. And a lot of it is all about safety. And, you know, I saw it's like stuntman is, you know, it's, it's about safety first, where a daredevil, he doesn't even care about himself. He's just going to go out and try it. When I got hired, I was hired as just a stunt guy. I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think I was going to be going on to become, to actually become, you know, doing the character Spider-Man and doing all the acting, you know, most of the movement stuff as well as the stunts in there. And I never thought I'd do two and three. I just got hired on to do a job to do stunts and have fun, so, and I didn't realize, you know, how big of a, a, a step in my career that it actually would have, you know, would actually be. I ended up doing a lot more in the suit than I thought, a lot more with the poses and the movements and stuff like that, and I think maybe that's, you know, with the gymnastics and the dance background, I think that's why I actually was asked to do two and three, is because I actually kind of, me and Toby got together and I kind of actually helped bring the actual character of Spider-Man to life. I actually like being behind the scenes. A lot of us, when we get into doing the stunts, we know that the actor, you know, it's all about the actor. He's going to take all the credit. And that's what I actually like about being behind the scenes is because I get to go out there, have a good time, have fun. It's like being a big kid on a playground, and I get paid to play. And then I can go out, you know, go out to dinner with my girlfriend or, or do whatever, and nobody knows who I am. So we rigged up a stunt that we had tested, and it it worked out good, and then on just on one of the takes, uh, I was supposed to go get yanked up about eight feet in the air, and then slammed in chest first, and just you know it's a stunt. Stuff happens, and I just kind of over rotated and drove myself head first into the ground. That injury, you know, it was. I'm lucky that I'm either you know alive or walking, and I wasn't paralyzed and stuff like that. And so now I use that to you know to be like, look, you know, there's more important things. Um, but I, I guess what it did was, for months, I didn't know if I was going to ever do stunts again. I, I, I kind of got scared. I didn't, I didn't want to, you know. Up until that point, I was invincible. I couldn't be hurt. You know, I'd get, you know, stitches, ah, whatever. I'd get, you know, broken tailbone. I'm back the next day. But this, you know, it took me months to get over because it was like I, I wasn't sure. And there was times I'd get in, the, get in a harness or get in a suit, I mean, or get in, like, a harness or in a wire or, or start to do a stunt, and I'd get a little anxiety and start to feel nauseous or I'd feel lightheaded and, and so I was like, man, I don't, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do stunts again. And it took me doing that car hit to actually, you know, get me back on the horse and get me back into it. This is pretty much, I don't, I don't know any other jobs besides, you know, maybe like a professional athlete or, or something that you can have so much fun and get paid to, you know, do what you enjoy.